bruh. Hello, fellow Smashers. My name is Coop de Loop, and today we are going to talk about one of my newly discovered favorite characters in Smash Brothers, Robin. Holy hole in a donut! No, not that Robin. Robin is an underappreciated character that has one of the best aerial games in Smash Ultimate. While he isn't necessarily a fast character on the ground or in the air, his specials in Levin Sword make up for this with how strong they are. Robin mostly relies on his Levin Sword to kill, and when that makes up eight of your moves, you have a lot of kill potential. Which is why I carry my Levin Sword. Levin Sword can kill with ease with up air, forward air, back air, neutral air, and all of his smash attacks, especially up smash which kills lightweights around 85% and heavyweights around 115%. The Levin Sword is ridiculously strong and it takes 8 swings for it to deplete and even after that the sword only takes 10 seconds to come back to you. You can even throw out smash attacks and aerials with Bronze Sword to make it come back quicker. So we've established that Levin Sword is amazing. What about when Robin doesn't have it? Is he weak then? Neutral Special has four different charge amounts, thunder. being Thunder, Hell Thunder, Heart Thunder, and Thoron. The main one you will want to be using is L Thunder, as this move can space, do decent damage, and even kill at high percents. It doesn't even take that long to charge to this amount. Thunder, the basic charge, is a good get off me tool if you need to hit someone approaching you, but that's really its only use. Arc Thunder is a good shield pressure tool, but unfortunately it lasts for so little time in this game. You can really only get a grab or dash attack right out of it safely. It's more useful when the player is doing neutral get up on the ledge and you use the force shield on them. Thoron is both really good and really bad in this game. It's pretty laggy if it whiffs. But it's an excellent tool to get some kills and apply pressure to the shield. When you've already done a little damage to the shield, Thoron will pretty much always poke through. It's best to use this charge while the player is at higher percents and with a lowered shield. Now let's go to Arc Fire. Easily his best special when it lands the player is stuck in it for a really long time. So long that you can freely combo almost any aerial or run up and up smash. Now it's not guaranteed as if the player is hit on the edge of the hitbox they can't SDI out of it. But about 90% of the time they are completely stuck so you can play like it's a true combo with little to no punishment. Arc Fire also sends at a longer distance in this game. If you want to get maximum distance traveled, make sure to short hop and arc fire to hit them from far away. You can still usually get a forward air or up air in this situation. Nosferatu, his down special, has been improved and is much more usable since last game. It's much more consistent hitting the player with a larger grab box. It's also great for approaching the player if they shield a lot. Just short hop into Nosferatu and now you've gained health and hurt your opponent. Similar to Wario's bite. Just don't accidentally use it off stage. <laughs> Elwyn is a wonderful recovery, probably one of the best in the game. You have a lot of freedom to move really far over to either side or just go really high vertically. When players challenge you off stage, if you juke them out, you can also gimp them or successfully spike them with your recovery. Its biggest flaw is that it also has a limit, so make sure to keep an eye out if you've used it for a while. The recharge isn't very long, but being edgeguarded and pressured with low Elwyn can make the situation very stressful. I recommend if you're in the last 3 or 4 dots of the bar, to try and get rid of it through jabbing after a kill or just extending a jab on the opponent. Managing all these specials is a big part of how well Robin can handle opponents, but just try not to spam one option and constantly lose that power, or even just use everything at all at once. You don't want to end up being a sitting duck. Like that's ever gonna happen. Zero to death. What 
It's nerf for nothing! Robin has a slow and methodical playstyle that favors safe options and getting great rewards on punishes and reads. Notice how your opponent deals with certain attacks and then counter by reading or setting up a situation they can't beat. Robin's combo game isn't the greatest, but if you manage to keep up with your opponent, you can cover a lot of options with just a few moves. And since all of Robin's moves do so much percent, you can easily take a large lead from just one or two string reads. While it doesn't have many, for starting combos, Robin's up tilt can easily lead into itself a few times, giving about 2 hits on lighter characters at low percent, and as many as 5 up tilts on the heaviest and largest characters. On heavier opponents, it is even true to get an up air after 2 up tilts. Robin's down throw combos into a buffered short hop air and forward air work up to about 30%, and then it goes to a buffered full hop up air and forward air up to 70%. Make sure to read using up air or forward air depending on the player's DI though. Overall, you probably won't get these too often as Robin's grab range is slow and whiffs often. He also has reasonable end lag on it and can get punished. Grabs on this character are mostly reserved for hard reads. Robin is a complete monster when he has advantage. Often players will try to use a move or air dodge to get out of a situation, but Levin Sword can cover those options very well. When the player is above you, don't be afraid to spam up air. It's huge, fast, disjointed, and kills at very good percents. If they air dodge to the side often, you can get good reads with both forward air and back air respectively. Robin can also be a pretty good edge guarder. If you like to jump off stage and try and punish your opponent, this is still possible with this character. Down air is a very good spike tool, and when the player recovers high, Elf Hunter and Arc Fire are great to deal with them. If you happen to be in disadvantage, then you don't need to fear, you have decent options. Levin's sword in the air comes out really fast and covers most of Robin's body. Back air is also a very quick option and can even be used falling through platform to do well. When off stage, you can stall for a while since L1 goes really far. If the player wants to gip or spike you, they really have to extend themselves. If they start to come off stage, recovering high is also very safe as you have a lot of air speed when angling L1 towards the stage. Robin does have some issues unfortunately. He has a very big lack of speed and he's really only rewarded for defensive play. Approaching is pretty hard. He also seems to have issues with smaller characters or characters with good crawls, since most of his specials just miss them or go above them. Prepare yourself! Barely made it. Overall, Robin is a very strong and underappreciated character. 
As a zoner, he can beat a lot of others very well, just because landing even one of his projectiles can lead to crazy damage, and then he can kill fairly early as well. I would say Robin is a solid tourney viable character, but he has a few bad matchups with characters that are both fast and short. Happy smashing! And remember, the easiest kill confirm is in your hands. Man, that's good shit.